Understanding the Human Mind. A Beginner's Guide to Psychology. Have you ever wondered why we think and behave the way we do? Or why some people seem to handle stress and challenges better than others? Understanding the human mind and behavior has been a fascination for centuries, leading to the development of the field of psychology. In this Beginner's Guide to Psychology, we will explore the fundamental principles of psychology and how they can help us gain insight into our own thoughts, feelings, and actions, as well as those of others. Whether you're simply curious about the field or considering pursuing a career in psychology, this guide is a great starting point. What is psychology? Psychology is the scientific study of human behavior and mental processes. It seeks to understand the different aspects of the human mind, including perception, cognition, emotion, personality, and behavior. In simpler terms, psychology is the study of how and why people think, feel, and behave the way they do. It involves analyzing and interpreting the actions and reactions of individuals and groups, exploring their motivations and underlying psychological processes. Psychology is a diverse and interdisciplinary field, drawing insights from biology, neuroscience, sociology, anthropology, and philosophy. It employs a range of research methods, including experiments, surveys, interviews, case studies, and observational studies, to gather and analyze data. The study of psychology has several practical applications in fields such as healthcare, education, business, and law. It can help people improve their mental health, understand the behavior of others, and develop more effective communication and leadership skills. History of psychology. The study of psychology has a long and fascinating history that dates back to ancient Greece, where philosophers such as Plato and Aristotle pondered questions about the nature of the human mind. However, psychology, as we know it today, is a relatively young field that has only been around for a few centuries. One of the key figures in the development of modern psychology was Wilhelm Wundt, a German philosopher and psychologist who established the first psychology laboratory at the University of Leipzig in 1879. Wundt believed that psychology should be a science that studies the mind through systematic observation and experimentation. Other early pioneers of psychology included Sigmund Freud, who developed the theory of psychoanalysis, and B.F. Skinner, who developed the theory of behaviorism. Freud believed that the human mind was divided into conscious and unconscious parts and that mental illness could be traced back to unresolved conflicts in the unconscious mind. Believed that behavior was shaped by rewards and punishments and that the mind was irrelevant to the study of psychology. In the early 20th century, psychologists began to explore new areas of study, including human development, cognition, and social psychology. Today, Psychology is a broad and diverse field that encompasses a wide range of topics, from neuroscience and neuropsychology to clinical psychology and social psychology. The different branches of psychology. Psychology is a broad field that encompasses various sub-disciplines. These sub-disciplines are referred to as the branches of psychology. Each branch deals with specific areas of human behavior and mental processes. Here are the different branches of psychology that you need to know. 1. Behavioral psychology. Behavioral psychology is a branch of psychology that focuses on how human behavior is influenced by environmental factors. 2. Cognitive psychology. Cognitive psychology is concerned with how the mind works. It examines how humans process information, perceive the world, and make decisions. 3. Developmental psychology. Developmental psychology is the study of human growth and development from infancy to old age. This branch looks at how humans change over time, both physically and mentally. 4. Personality psychology. Personality psychology is concerned with understanding the unique patterns of thought, behavior, and emotion that make up an individual's personality. 5. Social psychology. Social psychology is the study of how people interact with others. This branch examines how social situations and relationships influence human behavior and how people perceive and respond to social situations. How the human brain works. The human brain is one of the most complex and fascinating organs in the human body. It controls all of our thoughts, actions, and emotions. 
But how exactly does the brain work? At a basic level, the brain is made up of billions of nerve cells called neurons. These neurons communicate with each other through electrical and chemical signals, allowing us to think, feel, and move. Different areas of the brain are responsible for different functions. Example, the frontal lobe is responsible for decision-making and problem-solving, while the amygdala plays a role in processing emotions like fear and anger. The brain also has two hemispheres the left hemisphere and the hemisphere right. The left hemisphere is often associated with logical and analytical thinking, while the right hemisphere is more associated with creativity and imagination. The brain is also able to change and adapt through a process called neuroplasticity. This means that the brain is able to form new connections and reorganize itself in response to new experiences and learning. It's important to take care of your brain health through activities like regular exercise, getting enough sleep, and engaging in mental stimulation like reading and puzzles. By understanding how the brain works, we can better understand ourselves and the world around us. Theories of personality The study of personality is one of the most intriguing areas in psychology. Theories of personality seek to explain why people behave the way they do and why they differ from one another. Psychologists have developed a range of theories over the years, each with its own perspective and approach. One of the earliest and most well-known personality theories is Freud's psychoanalytic theory. According to Freud, personality is made up of three parts, the id, the ego, and the superego. The id is the primitive part of our personality, driven by our unconscious desires and impulses. The ego is the part of our personality that tries to balance the demands of the id with the realities of the outside world. The superego is the moral center of our personality, representing our internalized values and ideals. Another major personality theory is the trait theory. This theory posits that personality is made up of a set of enduring characteristics, or traits, that influence how we think, feel, and behave. Researchers have identified a range of traits, including openness, conscientiousness, extroversion, agreeableness, and neuroticism. According to this theory, these traits are relatively stable across time and across situations. Another popular theory is the humanistic theory, which emphasizes the importance of individual experiences, free will, and personal growth. This theory focuses on the human drive towards self-actualization, or the desire to realize our full potential. Humanistic theorists believe that people are inherently good and capable of making positive changes in their lives. Mental disorders and treatment Mental disorders are conditions that affect a person's thinking, mood, and behavior. They can be caused by a variety of factors, including genetics, life experiences, and brain chemistry. Mental disorders can range from mild to severe and can greatly impact a person's daily life. There are many different types of mental disorders, including anxiety disorders, mood disorders, personality disorders, and psychotic disorders. Each disorder is unique and can present differently in each individual. The treatment for mental disorders can vary depending on the disorder and the individual. Treatment options include medication, therapy, and lifestyle changes. Some mental disorders may require a combination of treatments for the best results. It is important to seek treatment if you believe you may be suffering from a mental disorder. Untreated mental disorders can greatly impact a person's life and relationships, and can even lead to self-harm or suicide. In addition to seeking treatment for yourself, it is also important to support loved ones who may be struggling with mental disorders. Providing emotional support, encouraging treatment, and helping to create a safe and supportive environment can greatly benefit someone dealing with a mental disorder. Remember, mental health is just as important as physical health. Take care of yourself and those around you by being informed about mental disorders and treatment options. Applications of psychology in daily life. While psychology is often seen as an academic subject, its principles and theories can be applied to everyday life. Here are some examples of how psychology can be useful in daily life. 1. Understanding your own behavior. Psychology helps us to understand our own behavior and emotions. By learning about personality traits and the ways our brain processes information, we can gain insight into our own thoughts and actions. 
This self-awareness can lead to personal growth and self-improvement. 2. Improved communication. By understanding human behavior and the way our brains process information, we can become better communicators. Knowing how to express ourselves clearly, listen actively, and understand others' perspectives can lead to stronger relationships and improved communication skills. Better decision-making. Psychology can help us to make better decisions by teaching us to analyze situations and weigh the pros and cons of different options. By understanding the way our brain processes information and how biases can influence our thinking, we can make more informed choices. Overall, Psychology has a wide range of practical applications that can be useful in our daily lives. By understanding human behavior and the way our brains work, we can become more self-aware, improve our communication skills, make better decisions, manage stress, and improve our mental health. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, and share it with your friends, so we can keep making them. For more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and remember to click on the notification bell. Also, be sure to check out our other videos as well. Thanks for watching.